friends. So if you remember yesterday, what we talked about in our Zoom lessons is we are starting a new study about balls. So I have a couple of balls at my house that I wanted to share with you guys. I have, this is called a soft ball. And it's kind of like a baseball, but it's much bigger and a little, a little more hollow on the inside. So this one is a soft ball. I have a volleyball and the volleyball is very squishy. See, I'm squishing it. It looks kind of like a basketball, but it's a little squishier and also a little hollow too. And lastly, I have a basketball. I know you guys love basketballs because whenever we went to the gym, you guys would always play with them. And these bounce very easily. And it's also very hollow and a little squishy. So today we're gonna read a story about lots of different kinds of balls and different things that go into making balls. So our story is called, Have a Ball. And it is by Nancy Noel Williams. So let's read our story and find out if the balls that I showed you are in our story and if we can learn about some new types of balls. What is a ball? So it looks like they're holding a beach ball. Remember our question of the day yesterday showed a beach ball and a football. And this is a beach ball. You might think that balls are smooth and round, but there are many different kinds of balls. Let's turn the pages and read about them. What are balls made of? So this boy is holding a baseball, which is very similar to the softball that I showed you. And we're gonna learn about what balls are made of. A ball may be made of rubber or plastic. It may be made of metal or glass. Balls can be soft and fluffy. They can even be made of food. So balls can be made of all different kinds of things. Look at what this boy is eating. He has a salad. And what is this shape? It's a circle. It's the shape of a ball. What is inside of a ball? So these boys have some soccer balls. We're gonna learn about what is inside of them. Basketballs, soccer balls, and beach balls have air inside. They are hollow. So the soccer balls, remember in America we call it a soccer ball. In other places they might call it a football. But for right now this is a soccer ball, a basketball, and a beach ball. All have air inside of it. So it's hollow. Say hollow. These make it bounce a lot easier. Baseballs, marbles, and bowling balls have no space for air inside. They are solid. So let's look at these balls. A bowling ball, a baseball, and a marble don't have any air inside. These ones do not bounce as easily. And they are solid, say solid. That means they're hard. So what can you do with a ball? You can make a ball bounce and roll. You can throw or kick a ball. You can toss it up high and catch it. You can run with a ball, try to juggle some balls. You can even toss a ball and let your dog bring it back to you. So there's lots of different things you can do with a ball. This boy is playing with, it looks like, a football with his dog. My dog loves to play with tennis balls. I'll have to show you guys sometime her playing with a tennis ball. Which balls bounce? So remember, we just talked about balls that are solid and balls that are hollow. So let's see if that has something to do with the balls bouncing. Beach balls bounce over the sand. Soccer balls bounce on the grass and into the net. Bounce that volleyball over the net. Up, down, up, down. Balls like to bounce. So the book is telling us that beach balls, soccer balls, 
and volleyballs all like to bounce. They all have air inside of them. Which balls are big and heavy? So we talked about solid balls that don't have air inside of them. Let's see if those ones are the heavy ones. Roll a bowling ball with all your might. It is heavy. A cannonball can be big or little, but it is always heavy. So remember, we said a bowling ball is solid. It doesn't have any air inside, so it's very heavy. Have you guys tried to lift a bowling ball before? They're very heavy and hard to carry. Which balls are little? Which balls are light? So what kind of balls do you see here? This little girl is playing with golf balls. And those are teeny, teeny, tiny solid balls. Marbles and golf balls are solid little balls. Ping pong balls are hollow little balls. You can play hard with them. Put a cotton ball in your hand. It is soft and light. So these girls are playing with marbles and marbles are small, solid balls. That means there's no air inside of them. But a ping pong ball is light. You can throw it in the air because there's air all inside of it. It's very bouncy. Which balls can you eat? When you want a round snack, have a melon ball or an orange. Try a cheese ball or a popcorn ball. Still hungry? Have a meatball or a matzo ball. So even some food can be in a ball. There's meatballs, oranges, melon balls. All different kinds of food can be in balls. What balls are used in sports? He looks like he's playing baseball. So what kind of ball would he use? A baseball. We can kick big soccer balls. We can hit baseballs, tennis balls, golf balls, and ping pong balls. We can play croquet too. Footballs are different. They've got pointy ends. We love to play sports with balls. So this boy is playing basketball with his dad. But remember, Miss Thompson showed us her football yesterday and it is not the same shape. It has pointy ends. It's not round like a base, ba um, basketball or baseball. Which balls are used in work? So we just start stop talking about construction vehicles. Let's see if some construction workers use balls. Little balls have jobs in tiny places. You might find them inside your ballpoint pen. Wrecking balls are big and heavy. They crush things. So this is a wrecking ball. It's a big, heavy, solid ball at the end of a long wire. And the crane holds it and it swings it back and it knocks down buildings. It's a quick and easy way for a um, construction worker to knock down buildings is using a wrecking ball. Round and round goes the ball. It can bounce or roll or fly in the air. You can hit it, push it, kick it, or catch it. Time to play or time to work. It's always time to have a ball. So balls can be used for all sorts of things. This boy is playing baseball. This girl looks like she's playing baseball too. Balls can be used for all sorts of things the end so after reading our story and learning that we can have balls for more things than just to play with i found a couple more balls that i can show you i have an apple and an apple is a ball i can throw it i can catch it and it's round i also have a lime a lime is in a ball shape too I can throw it and catch it, and it is also round. So there can be balls that are food as well. So I have some questions for you guys that I want you to have your parents record you answering and put it up on Class Dojo. So these are like our sunshine questions. My first question, I want you to name three balls that you remember from our story. It can be a basketball, it can be a wrecking ball, a marble, any three balls that you remember from our story. 
I want you to tell me what a hollow ball is and what a solid ball is. Remember, one is full of air and one is full of materials that makes it heavy. And last, I want you to show me any kind of ball that you have in your house. It can be like my softball or it can be like my apple. It can be food, it can be a toy, it can be a sport ball, any ball that you have in your house. I want to see one. All right, friends, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I miss you and I hope to see you soon.